comes down to this one. Hello and welcome to episode number six of Out of My Depth in Paradise. I'm the FM Novice. You join us today for the last league game of the season. And victory could give us the title. But in truth, we have blown it massively. We are on a little bit of a run. We've lost our last two league matches. But we'll move back a little bit further back and catch us up from where we are that was the game again in the final against la Paz. a long time ago now we that was 63 days ago blimey it's a long long time we played against revenge we beat them 2-0 in the fa cup suzette and lesbro scoring the goals in that one then we played la Paz in the league and we beat them 2-1 again that was a very comfortable performance anna cora and laura with the goals and then we played Cote dior in the fa cup quarterfinals and beat them 3-2 one of our guys scored a name goal, Lucas, Lesperance and Hall with the goals. And it was all going swimmingly well before the wheels came off against the Lions. We should have beaten these guys relatively comfortably. 1-0 up, Cruz, and they get a penalty and score. They go 2-1 up. We have a player sent off as well. We go back to 2 all at half-time and they score in the 60th minute to make it 3-2. They're in the relegation zone at the moment, so that's a massive, massive defeat. We then played in the cup final, semi-final. An own goal, two goals from Lucas and Davido Hall giving us a 4-0 victory to put us into the final, which will be next episode. And then we played against Northern Dynamo and we just needed a point to be top of the table and go into the last game and it all to be in our favour. And we lost 1-0. 83rd minute goal, we had so many good chances before that goal and blew them all and we lost and it means we are one point behind St. Louis Suns United and level on points with La Paz. The goal difference is inferior to La Paz, but it's better than St. Louis Suns. We have to win and hope La Paz and St. Louis Suns draw their games or lose their games. They've both got tough games. Cote d'Or against La Paz and St. Michael United against St. Louis Suns. So fifth and fourth play second and first. We are playing against ninth. So in theory, we have the easiest tie, so we should win our game. It's whether the rest of the games go in our favour. But this could be, you can't win anything with kids, but you can certainly come second or third. Runners up in the League Cup, potentially runners up in the League, and we've got a final to potentially come runners up again in that one. So potentially we could be the bridesmaid and never the bride this season. We have, however, had our youth intake, and it was... A golden generation according to my assistant manager which probably shows just how bad our squad is when we go through these guys so first one up is Alex Nibret a central defender primarily can play either left back or right back potentially a four-star player but he's unambitious not a lot really there heading marking tackling is in the the low figures, six and eight, not great really. Six foot one, so he's not massively tall, but he gives us a backup option and he's better than someone like Sam Adelaide who has since left the club because he's not really good enough. Next one is a slightly better centre half, Superior Barb. Potentially a five star player, balanced personality for this one. So he's a lot better, tackling good, marking good, heading not very good though at all, but good strength for this level of football. So he has played a few games and looks to be a better option for us. Then we come to Dumisi Sopola. Playing anywhere across the midfield. Potential only a one and a half star player. So not looking great. But he's got good determination, got a good team, got good work rate. So there should be something about him in that respect that would be a good player for us if he gets his chance. Emmanuel Panay is the next one. A right winger. Very much a flair player, 15 flair, aggression 11, natural fitness 13. Good leader as well, but that's where it, the good points end, really. Nothing else much really for him. Dribbling of four, passing of five, technique of four. Probably won't get close to my first team for a while, but he's there because I might require him at some point. Innocent Maria is another player in a similar boat. Probably won't get many opportunities unless we've got a little bit of an injury crisis and see how he gets on left or right winger so there's a little bit more flexibility with this guy he's determined i'll give him that and some okay physicals technicals are certainly nothing to write home about though jonas bibby is a center back and also play anywhere across the back three but he's very much a head it kick it tackle it type of center half very brave quite aggressive naturally fit 
heading of nine, marking of eight, tackling of nine, the rest of the technical attributes, nothing there at all. Next one is Mami Dugassi, a left back, very brave, works well for the team and quite naturally fit, potential four star player. Quite a balanced personality as well, a young fullback. This guy, I, I quite like him. I haven't got a huge amount of left back depth, so he could become a solid option for us. Martin Ernesta is a left winger. Mm, potential four star player. He can, he's brave, he's aggressive, very quick, acceleration of 13, pace of nine. Good teamwork as well. Very much a mental, physical player. Nothing much from a technical point of view. Hasn't yet had a chance in the first team to show what, what he can do. Mikim Rene is a striker. Determined, good leader, good off the ball. Finishing of eight, composure of six, off the ball 11. That might be a decent striker for us. His own potential ability is two and a half star. But I think there might be something there. There might be something there. Mazwandi Mafiot is a natural centre midfielder four-star potential player. I'm training him to be a central midfielder. He's developing relatively nicely. Only one appearance from the bench he's had so far this season. Determination of 10, decision 12, balance and jumping reach are pretty decent as well. And his technicals are improving through training. So he is improving. Rob Maffiot, a right back. Aggressive, physical player. He's got low determination as well, which is a frustration. I can't tutor any of these guys because they're all involved on in my first team squad. They're all too important to the club before I can actually tutor them. He's a potential four-star player, though. Ronald Fred is a player who's had he's made a couple of times from the bench. Potential five-star striker. There's not really a lot there in terms of attributes. Finishing of five, composure of five. Can't really play as an anything but a target man. I play an advanced forward. So he's got a lot of work to do before he can get a regular pace on his side, but he's only 16 years old, so he's got a bit of time. If he realizes that potential, we could have a decent player on our hands. Tamangi Suzette is probably our best player that we've had. Average rating, not 7.27 in, in these games he's played. He's done really well in the FA Cup, but not so great in the league. But this guy is already a one and a half star player, current ability. Naturally an attacking midfielder, but learning the role of a central midfielder very, very nicely. Potential five star player for us. I say this guy has played every game since he has arrived at the club. And Thomas Hall is a goalkeeper who's already, I think, probably just as good as Rose in goal. He's played a couple of times. He'll probably get, he'll get definitely be my first choice goalkeeper next season. A four-star potential player. Good handling, good ru rushing out. Quite aggressive as well. I like an aggressive goalkeeper. He means he's going to get involved in, in games and things like that. So that's good. And that is my youth intake. Quite a number of players got contracts in the end. Only a couple of players didn't. Because that's the, it's the only way I can bring players into the club. So I have to sort of be very relaxed about the ability of these players. So I have to make sure I'm not... I have to basically give everyone a chance on the off stance that one player turns into something really, really good. And there might be a couple. Who knows? So if you've sat through the eight minutes of waffle when I've looked for open my youth intake, for, thank you very much for doing that. So we'll move on to the team for today's game. Thomas Hall is in goal. The back four, Hall, Minus, Mafiot and Dugassi making his debut at left back in the crunch game. That will not go well. Agafinfi, Suzette and Marie are in the midfield three. Less crunch on the right. Lure from the left and Anacora up front. It is 100% out of our hands here. We have to win and hope that things go in our favour. So I am going to change that to look at latest scores. Just to talk to me a little bit more. We've got an early free kick. Suzette to take. Whips it in. Headed down. And it's in by Anacora. We are doing our bit. We have taken an early lead. We've done that in a few games recently. And then mucked things up. So as it stands. We are now no longer top of the table. St. Louis Suns have taken the lead in their game. So even though we are doing our bit. St. Louis Suns and La Paz will probably get results in their game, so it won't be bad. But St. Louis Suns have been pegged back. It's far more exciting than our game is at the moment. One point clear at the top of the table, 34 minutes gone. It's not going to end that way, but St. Louis Suns are behind. Law on the ball. Can he turn his man? He does. He beats his man, whips it into the post, and it's headed down. And a chorus should have buried that. That's a golden opportunity to put us 2 0 up. But we haven't, and they now have attack. Rose. Poor tackle, Lesperance. Through to Rose. Rose shoots. Good save by Hall. It's still live though. Minus clears the ball away. 
Kazakhstan's results are just about going in our favour. But there's so much that can happen in the next 45 minutes. Don't turn off your TV sets. This game has a lot to happen. It's a lot to happen. So we're just going to give the ball. Stay the ball. Okay, you're doing all right. But there's a lot more to come from you. Let's pick up the pace. Let's get that second goal and focus our attentions elsewhere on the island of paradise. So all I'm doing is looking down the bottom corner of the screen. I'm not really watching what's happening in the game. Probably missing something very, very obvious. Les Barantz. Looking for options. Inside to Suzette. Now Marie. Maria, even. Manny Dugas. Inside to Suzette. Agapenthi. Anakora. Shoots deflected. Cleared away. Minus. Back over the top. Lorray. Can, can he keep the ball in? Of course he can. He does. Dugassi whips it in, headed away. Agapinfi. And the corner scores 2 0 up. We are doing our bit. We are now 2 0 up. You would hope that would be enough against a team lower down in the table with nothing to play for. Things still are in our favour. Just waiting for the pass or St. Louis Suns to score to screw us over. Last 25 minutes left. I'm just waiting for the inevitable goal. From one of those two teams that is going to completely ruin my evening 15 minutes left i'm not even watching what's happening with my team at the moment nothing is happening in any game so far mafia highlight dugassi law finds anacora maria finds agafinthi agafinthi makes it three nil i am though i'm just going to take off anacora because he's been booked and the suzette for Suzette just because they've both been booked and we do have a cup final in a few days time which we may have to play to salvage some silverware St. Louis Suns are actually losing their game Rose is through on goal and makes it 3-1 Yannick Rose scoring their poor defensive mistake but will it matter the Pask are the only ones who can spoil our fun here last few moments of the tie What's going to happen? Four minutes added on. Le Paz nil, Coupe Dior nil. Can't see what's happening here. Full time whistle has gone. What is happening? I don't know what's happening. Let's go do the team talk. Have we won the league or has things gone against us? We just have to wait and see. The game is saving. How much build up can I do to a green line moving across the screen? As it goes through, it is saving. What has happened? We have won the league. Oh my word, we nearly completely screwed it over, but somehow a bunch of kids have won the league. And say Reunion are the league champions. That is beautiful. The Seychelles Premier League, two points clear. We had to win our game, results had to go in our favour. And somehow they have. So you can actually win things with kids. I, <laughs> I'll be honest, I did not think that is how this episode would go. I thought this would be a post-mortem, me licking my wounds, and then telling you about the FA Cup final, which is the next episode. But there is an FA Cup final in the next episode. So please do join me for that one. For me, the FM Novice, to you, the audience, thank you very much for watching. We'll talk again very, very soon. Have a good evening.